and welcome back to my channel. We are here for a very exciting one today. It's another Primark video. We all love a little bit of a Primark trip, Primark haul here on this channel and that is exactly what I'm doing today. However, I'm doing it a little bit different. For the first time ever, I'm trial running. I am testing out their click and collect service, which if you don't know, Primark now have a website. I feel like this is very ad. It's not an ad. I have just splurged, okay? Um, but yeah, Primark have a few stores which are click and collect, which they started, I think, with like the kids wear, but I had a quick browse on their website um, two days ago now, and um, I was like adding things to my basket that were like from the Primark Edit range, the new Paula range, the Rita Aura range, and I was thinking, it's quite a good selection of stuff here. So I ended up spending a couple of hundred pounds, and I did the click and collect service. So I'm gonna go to the Trafford Center. I've just had a text this morning to say that it is ready for collection. They did say 2 p.m. onwards when I first placed the order um, on today's day, and I had a text at about 10 to 10 this morning saying, it's ready whenever you are, and I'm like, brilliant. So I might head over a little bit earlier. I have got some tra tradesmen in that I'm just sorting out at the moment, but once that's finished, I'm gonna head over to the Primark at the Trafford Center I'm choosing the Click and Collect service with. Hopefully, everything's folded neatly, nothing's marked, it's all gonna be easy, just walk up, no queues, because you get to skip the queues because she goes to the Click and Collect one. And I did read online as well that it said if you see anything else in store when you go into the Click and Collect section, you're allowed to purchase your items because you've got a Click and Collect at Click and Collect, so you don't have to like queue separately. So I might have a little bit of a browse, and if there's anything that wasn't online um, that I spot, that I pop into a basket, then um, I'll, yeah, I'll have a look around, see what they've got. Head to Click and Collect, pick up that order, head back home, show you everything that I did buy, and yeah, let you know my experience with Click and Collect. So let's head on out. Let's grab a coffee, I think, for the road, get to Primark. I might just slip into Home Sense, seeing as though they've got the final clearance bits at the minute, and also there's a photo frame that I've already bought, a wooden one, which I really want another one or two of, maybe three. <laughs> um, but it was just like a random one that I found at Home Sense, and not the Trafford Centre one. So fingers crossed we might find some. I'm not getting my hopes up, because I feel like it's one of those finds that is just it's a home sense find that you'll never find again kind of find. Anyway, let's go on the road. I'll show you what I'm wearing today just quickly. If you wanted to know, I will leave this jumper linked. It is from Abercrombie. It's a new favorite of mine. I've been wearing it to death and I have been wearing it with um, a layer underneath so that I can get um, more wear out, more wears out of it, if that makes sense. Because with knit jumpers, I feel like to prolong them as much as possible, Ideally, don't wash them that often. So it's also the perfect color for makeup transfer. You can't see. Nice long sleeve length. It's got the little slit here, so nice and long. I did size up to an um, extra large in this, so that I could wear it with leggings like so. These are my Lululemon leggings, but as always, I will link my Lulus in the description box along with my favorite Amazon dupes I tend to wear. In fact, let me just, yeah, these are the Lululemon ones. Honestly, they're that close and that similar that sometimes I, I don't know which ones I'm wearing. Anyway, and then I've just got some cozy uh, knitted socks on, which again are from Primark. I'm gonna throw a jacket on and probably my Uggs just to be extra warm and cozy and comfy. Because we all like to do a shopping trip in comfort. And it is freezing outside today. So, wrapping up, oh, there's a cat in the garden. If Barney was here right now, he's not, he's in daycare today but he would be asking to go in the garden right now.
just like that, we're back in the car. That was very painless, straightforward, very easy. And if I do want to return anything, it's just the same place. Um, and to be honest with you, I never try anything on in Primark anyway. So the thought of having to potentially return something, I always have that dilemma anyway, because I like to buy everything, get home, try it all on, show it to you guys in a haul. And then anything that I don't, that doesn't fit or that I'm not keeping, I just return anyway. So there's no real difference. There are a couple of other things that I bought as well. So yeah, let's get home. Let's do a bit of a try on haul and show you what I got. We're back, back home. I've got the three bags. She did just have to put them in carry bags because she said they're quite heavy. These are the bags that they come in, but yeah, the handles are just slightly breaking. So I got two of these. We'll start with the bits that I didn't order from the Click and Collect, the bits that I actually got in the store. And I got this first and foremost, really randomly to start on, but <clears throat> I thought it was lovely. So they've got this, the Primark edit range, which you guys all know that I love. I seem to get something from the Primark edit range each time. It's like an elevated version of Primark. A little bit more expensive, nicer kind of finish and materials. Did I not say at the start of this video, oh, there's a cat. I can see it again. Must just like our garden. Anyway, this was eight pounds and it's from the Primark Edit gold plated collection of jewelry. And I just really liked the like kind of texture to this necklace. It's kind of like 90s style, quite chunky. Um, that I feel like will look really nice layered up with other jewellery as well. So yeah, eight pounds for that. And then I got two tops. The first top that I got is from the Paula, whatever range it is, Paula's, I don't even know who she is. Is she like an influencer or something? But Paula someone, always a gorgeous collection that she brings out. So whoever she is, I love her style. 15 pounds, this is one of the jumpers that she's done, which is like a really nice soft knit with a bonjour on the front. I just love that slogan, chunky, cozy as well. So I did size up to an extra large. I always feel like I get these sort of tops in a slightly larger size anyway. So yeah, picked that up. And then I also got, the last thing that I got in store as well is this, which is a very basic top. It's just like a three quarter length sleeve top. I'm thinking just around the house, comfy, cozy leggings on and just being comfy. Even like one of those tops that you throw on over, say if you're going to do yoga or something, you just want something nice and loose and lightweight to put over your workout gear and then take it off when you get warm. Um, but yeah, extra large. It was only nine pounds and it is super, super soft. It's almost like a waffle velour and it's got a slight shorter top at the uh, shorter front and longer back it's pretty much my uniform <laughs> i feel like i talk about a jumper and leggings most of the time but i'm branching out i am doing a bit more styling and stuff over on my instagram with different things than leggings but, you know i'm just a leggings girl and i really enjoy them i feel like a lot of people try and steer away and away from leggings and think oh it's boring it's it's like mum vibes it's like i love it i love the look of a nice cozy knit with or cozy jumper with leggings i actually like that look tear here it says. it's fairly well folded i will give them that the second leg open as well this first thing that i got is actually some PJs, just gorgeous, a very simple, quite classy, very kind of satiny, grown up, like silky, you know, and it's piped as well. So I think that adds a little extra, making it look a lot more expensive than what it is. So it is from the Primark Edit. That's why I didn't even realize it was from the Primark Edit. I feel like the Primark Edit just, they must have a whole different team. Anyway, so 16 pound from the top. So it is a bit more pricey but it feels lovely. It doesn't feel staticky at all. I got the top in a large and then the bottoms, which are like a wide leg, again, piped. I got these ones in a medium. I do like my PJs one size up. The bottoms are 16 pounds as well. See, that's quite expensive for a set of PJs, isn't it, from Primark? So um, yeah, the bottoms, I feel like they might be a bit too big. We'll try them on and see how I feel, but they're essentially like a wide leg and then they've got that 
piping detail running across the bottom along the top drawstring would have made these a bit nicer just so that you can size up but then still not have them fall down so then the other pajamas that i've got i mentioned at christmas time if you remember or it was like december time that they had these velour luxury cozy pjs that i really wanted to get my hands on couldn't find them anywhere well now they've got them online they've got a few different colors i went for the darkest i think it was like the chocolatey brown but it has got like a i would say a bit of purple kind of a purple tinge to it but in a medium the bottoms are 14 pounds and these ones have a drawstring as well so you probably get better value for money with these ones again it's just got wide leg a little piping at the bottom and then the top is in a large i got this one and the top is also 14 pounds um super cozy and soft it's just like a shirt style oh so nice honestly guys if you haven't already go in the store and try and find these or click and collect them i've got the dressing gown in the lightest color they do three or four different shades they're like the skims dupes but yeah i've got the dressing gown and i love it i also got from the primark edit a another basic tea of which i've got a couple of these and i just wanted to get a nice new fresh one these are 12 pounds which is pretty much similar price point to like zara teas but i think these are better quality they do have a slightly boxier fit so they're definitely like an oversized tea i say Stay true to size with this i got a small it's a nice kind of creamy white love that i got a little beanie four pound fifty i've got this one in like a cream colored but i wanted a darker color too um, but especially when we've had this cold weather beanies for me are an essential on a dog walk especially first thing in the morning when it's still frosty and yeah these are just perfect at four pound fifty i love the color of this one i also picked up a pair of cashmere socks from again the primark edit range so they are five pounds for a pair but yeah they contain cashmere they are super soft good little kind of like boot sock not too high um nice color as well like a really nice oatmeal kind of color i got this jumper dress in a large oh it's not a jumper dress it's a jumper okay so this is in a large at 13 pounds this is thinner than i'd have thought it was gonna be so this is where click and collect is had i seen this in store i don't know if i'd have picked it up i do like the length of it but it feels quite thin like a ribbed cream i think if i compare it to this one this is just so much chunkier and cozier 13 pounds yeah not blown away by that one i love this actually this is a jacket from i think it was new in that paula range and it's well in fact i'll leave it done up so you can see it's like a cropped wool tailored jacket but because it is cropped it's more blazer style where you could style it a lot differently to how you would a full length coat it's 28 pounds and also because it is shorter it probably transitioned quite nicely into spring i did pick up a matching jogger co-ord set of um the from that new paula range again they had this in two colors they had this uh what would you say like a taupe kind of color and then they had a dark charcoal and they kind of give a little bit of like an acid wash distressed looking finish they were a bit thinner than i thought they were from the um picture online that's a straight leg no cuff bottom or anything and it does have a slight can you see it's like a piped detail running down the front of the leg so I got the bottoms in a medium at £10 with a real cinch in waist and then the top to go with it is probably not something I would ordinarily get or wear without wearing those bottoms because it is cropped but I thought I would get it to show you anyway. It's £11 the top and um, I got it in a large. Okay, I'll show you these jeans next and I'm hoping these are going to fit and feel lovely because I don't have a denim wash in this colour. Now they say straight leg, they're from the Primark edit range again, uh, so they are £20. Ordinarily their jeans are sort of 16 I remember the days when they were 11 but um, £20 for a pair of jeans, if they fit, will be good. They feel quite stretchy which is good for me with jeans. I feel like comfort is key when it comes to these kind of things and I did size up to a 12 because I wasn't sure if again online i wasn't sure if there was going to be stretched to them had i felt them in store i would have known and maybe gone with a 10 and um, they also to me don't look that straight leg they look quite slim 
And then I also got this oversized, I'm not gonna, I can't keep all of these. I definitely don't need them all, but this, over, and again, I say oversized, I got a large. Um, this sweatshirt, which says New York. I liked the color combo, the kind of dark, um, it kind of gives the essentials vibe. Do you know what I mean by that? The essentials hoodies and sweatshirts, where it's just like a, a block wording like that. Okay, what else did I get? Oh, I got this, which reminded me a little bit of a top that I got from Abercrombie, actually. The, the one from Abercrombie had like a crossover detail, but it's quite similar in that it's like a ribbed, cozy knit top. It's a bit more fitted so that I don't just own oversized tops and I would pair something like this instead with maybe jeans, maybe those like black jeans. It does look quite long in the body though. I got it in a medium. It was only eight pounds. Wow. Okay, this is really good value for eight pounds. I feel like it feels lovely. It's nice and stretchy as well. Next up, we have, see very well folded. We've got a basic thin knit, which I thought would be good for layering. I got it in a medium, only eight pounds. And this one also contains wool. It feels very soft though. You know, sometimes with wool products, it feels a bit itchy. This doesn't feel itchy at all. I'm enjoying wearing things like a blazer, especially as it does get warmer into spring, like a blazer with something like this just thrown over rather than worn underneath, just so you've got an extra layer if you need it. And then just like a basic white tee underneath. But yeah, really nice, eight pounds. Good little layering basic there. We've got another slogan, half zip, quarter zip, um, which just says Michigan. I loved the colors of this one, so that's why I picked this one up. I got it in a large to be worn again, just like cozy around the house. The amount of wear that I get out of tops and leggings outfits, especially for like dog walks where they get a bit more wear and tear. Yeah, I always welcome them. And this one is, nice because of the coloring it just says michigan but in like a beige font with 1997 oh it's my brother's year of birth it was 12 pounds and i can feel myself living in it it's again kind of giving that abercrombie and fitch vibe they've got quite a lot of stuff like this last but not least again from the primark edit range this one i was hoping this would be just a good addition to my wardrobe so i was after a basic crisp white shirt the other day and I didn't have one. I don't know whether at some point I've maybe donated it or what, but I had a shirt dress, but I wanted just a shirt. So I decided to have a look on Primark. They had this one from the Primark edit range. So I thought, brilliant, should be good quality. 18 pounds and it is, um, yeah, I would say that's good, good size for me. It's in a medium and it is just a box standard exactly what i was after plain white shirt it's got it, it's school school vibes <laughs> school girl but like not cool more school boy this is what the little cuff looks like got three buttons there and i quite like the bottom shape of it as well i think they called it an oversized poplin shirt and that is everything that i got i was sipping on my uh, peppermint tea that I made myself. It's gone a bit lukewarm now because I've been chatting so much. But that, guys, is everything that I got from Primark. So let me know which was your faves. I actually really like the, the Bonjour jumper that I managed to get in store. They didn't have that one online. Or they did, but they didn't have it in um, stock in my size. So, and to be fair, when I went in, they only had one in the large, oh no, extra large, sorry. They only had one in the extra large. The rest were all sort of extra smalls and smalls. So yeah, maybe that was a return or they just got it in today and that's why I couldn't pick it up online the other day. But yeah, I'm really happy with quite a few new pieces there. I have a good try on and style up with some of the things I've got and see which ones I want to keep. But let me know which ones are your favorite and which of these items do you think I should keep? Let me know if you try click and collect yourself as well and if you want any more Primark calls from me, then let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.